what's up guys, we're at the airport right now. As you can see behind me, we're gonna hop on one of those and head all the way to the West Coast to Seattle for a week. Um, content's gonna go crazy. We're gonna meet up with Levi Mack, um, all kind of good stuff. But yeah, super excited, lots of food, lots of hiking, West Coast vibes, nature, all that kind of stuff. Isaac's excited, he's come along for the ride. And um, yeah, let's get this airport B-roll. All right, what's up guys? So this is obviously not Maisie. This is my cousin's dog, Benny. We have officially made it to Seattle. So we are officially home for the week. But first thing we need to do, it is about 9.30 here. So in Cincinnati, it's about 12.30. Um, and that's pretty late and I'm hungry. So we're gonna go ahead, do a quick house tour, walk around and then go get some food. Our first food stop of Seattle is Dick's Burgers. As you guys can see, it looks like kind of like a walk-up window, something like that. So let's see what they got. But it looks like burgers, fries, milkshakes, all that good stuff. Uh, three deluxe, one cheeseburger, a fry, and a chocolate shake. All right, so got the chocolate shake here first. That's so good. That's like that old school like diner malty shake. I was having a chocolate shake or ice cream in a minute. That was really good. Try to find one of these. Deluxe burgers. I think this has got to be one of them, so we'll do a quick look. You guys are scoop. All right, so this is a deluxe burger, or Dick's Deluxe. It's a quarter pound with lettuce. I believe it was chopped pickles, mayo, something else. So give us a quick bite. It's a double patty. Sweet mayo, so it's really good. I will say, I prefer like a smash burger patty. These things are really good, but. <laughs> that was close. Very solid burger. I'm also absolutely starving, so anything's gonna taste good right now. We're gonna go with the solid 8.5 on this. All right, we got some fries in here too. There's more in the bag, um, but yeah, these are decent they're pretty thin I would say like McDonald's thinness but they are a little bit more floppy good I would say I prefer fries they're a little more done a little fried a little bit more cool these are kind of flimsy but they are very salty which is good all right fries give them a seven out of ten nothing nothing special but good addition to the meal Hank and Roland all right, well, we've got two more subscribers. So, hey, make yeah. sure to subscribe. We're on the road to 50K right now. So, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> hey, we get into 50K whether it's live or die. <laughs> I appreciate it, boys. All right, thank we're going to head out. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Quick final review of the shake. We have a very little left, but I don't know if it's because I haven't had ice cream or a milkshake in a long time, but this, to my memory, might be one of the best milkshakes I've had in a long ass time. I think I'm going to go, we're in the nines for sure. I'm gonna go 9-2. I'm gonna hold out there to better milkshakes out there, but that's one of the best I've had in recent memory. So we're gonna go 9-2 on the chocolate milkshake. So damn good. We made a Pike Place Market. First thing on the list is daily donuts for some mini donuts. So let's go get those. All right, we're now at the gum wall, which to me is absolutely repulsive, but apparently it's a pretty big thing down here. Um, you just take your gum out and put it on the wall, and it is absolutely disgusting. We're about to get, go eat some donuts. <laughs> All right, so we have our donuts from, what was it, the Daily Donut, I think, something like that. Um, so we'll go ahead, honestly, we'll just pull out one of each to kind of try. We got the Deluxe Dozen, so I think it's like six different kinds, two of each, so one for me, one for Isaac. I like bacon maple. Bacon maple? Looks like a maple maple, and then I think there's like a cinnamon at the very bottom somewhere. Oh, there it is. Boom. All right, so we've got our, looks like powdered, sprinkled, plain, maple bacon, maple, and then a cinnamon glaze. So that's one of each, and then this is for Isaac. But yeah, we'll start with, what should we start with? Probably the sprinkle. I feel like that's sprinkle the one first. Go. All right, do we one bite them? Or do we half? Good 
They are feel like a, like a cake donut, like a bit thicker and heavier, but nonetheless very good. They're like one bite size though, I will say that. Freaking looking donut, I'm gonna one bite this one though. I mean, fried dough, you can't go wrong. All right, cinnamon. Honestly, we're gonna do this one next. All right, so, maple bacon. That's it right there. That's my favorite by far. I might be stealing Isaac's one of these, actually. You can have it. I don't, <laughs> maple, I don't know about maple, maple bacon. Alright, yes, we're gonna eat all six of these real quick right now. Half the one's decent. Put cinnamon glaze on there. Damn, those are really good. I also like how they're smaller. Because there's like one bite, one or two bites, and they're done. But I will say, as far as donuts go, Krispy Kreme still has my heart with like that super light, fluffy, flaky. But these are a little bit thicker donut. These are a little bit thicker of a donut, a little bit more cake. But I'll go ahead and let Isaac have some now. Donuts were absolutely fantastic, but now we need to go get some real food. I need some protein in my system. So we're gonna try to find the Oriental Market and get some, yeah, some sort of fish or some sort of full meal. Can I try the, the pork? Adobo? Yeah. All right, so here we have the two servings of the pork adobo here from Oriental Mart in Seattle at the Pike Place Market. This looks so good. I mean, this is literally just like such tender pork. It just like falls apart. You don't even cut it. It just like pulls apart. So that looks absolutely delicious, but obviously we gotta do a quick taste test. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm about to burn my mouth like really bad. So we'll find out. Mm -mm. It's just warm enough for it to like taste good but not burn your mouth. Oh my gosh. That's so good. The meat is so tender, filled with flavor. It's like it's like it's like the almost. I don't know how the best way to describe it, but we also have rice noodles, some rice. This also, I mean shoot, our workout isn't for a while. It's pretty much a great pre-workout meal, protein, plenty of carbs, but yeah, I'll let Isaac put the camera down and we'll go ahead and dig in. All right, so we just got um, some free food on the side. One of the sweet ladies working here gave us some, I believe she said it was like some sort of short rib uh, with some black bean sauce. So we got one for Isaac, boom, and then one for me. She said there's bones in there, so we gotta pull the meat off the bone, but let me go ahead and use some of that sauce. You want some? Mm. Wow, I might've made a mistake. The the ribs might have been the way to go. Those were so dang good. I think there was the bean sauce too on top of that, but I'm not mad about it regardless. The pork is still good, but definitely next time the ribs for sure. All right, so we're gonna do the fruity pleb. What is this? Yeah, the fruity pebbles flavored protein. Um, I have not had it yet, this ISO 100. Heard good things, Isaac said good things, so we're gonna give this a try, but yeah, even when we're traveling, we gotta stay high on protein, so we'll do, add this in the diet, two scoops a day. What's that? Bro, we gotta stay high on protein? 25 grams, so yeah, fit extra 50 grams a day right here, that's perfect. We walked like, I mean, probably 30 minutes for this, so <laughs> hopefully it's worth it. Check out Jack Perez on YouTube. Yeah, my man's gonna hook me up with some protein. <laughs> You want, to plug your, <laughs> you want to plug yourself on Instagram or anything? Uh, yeah, Tony Pepperoni. Uh, I do a lot of climbing videos. Um, yeah, you'll see me. I, I climb in the Washington area, Leavenworth Index and stuff like that. You'll see me. Yeah. We are back home for a split second. We are already at 16,818 steps in the day. And guess what today is? You guessed it, leg day. So we have an energy drink right here that is much needed because I'm exhausted. My legs are a little fried from my walking, but we need to hit regardless. Once again, five calories. This is the ghost Swedish fish. Highly recommended, Isaac's favorite. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get to try. Quick one sip test. And then when I finish it, I'll give you guys a full review. Oh. 
Wow. Okay. Immediate flavor profile, exactly the sweetest fish. But still has that like carbonated bite to it. All right, really good so far, but final score coming once it's gone. We're down to the last sip of the ghost Swedish fish. Very solid energy drink. I also needed the energy, so feeling good. I will say, I don't think it edges out the blue, um, the blue raspberry Sour Patch Kids, which I gave a 9-2, I believe. I don't think this makes it nine for me. I think this is gonna be an eight, nine, eight point nine on a Swedish fish. Very good, but doesn't break into nines for me. Solid energy drink, but yeah, I gotta say, Blue Sour Patch Kid has my heart. But we are here at the Magnuson Athletic Club, which looks like it's kind of in an old warehouse, so it should be pretty cool. Um, I don't know if they're gonna let us film, so we're gonna do the whole ask for forgiveness rather than permission when we get in there. But hopefully we have at least some footage to show you guys. We got leg day, hopefully the hack squat. Um, if not, we'll kind of do leg extensions, leg curls, leg press just like I would do it at home but um, in a new environment new gym it looks pretty cool I like how spacious it looks but yeah energy drink down so time for leg day all right guys we made it back from the gym I'm actually exhausted I think Isaac can say the same thing we are almost at 20,000 steps hit a leg day and we've got some protein right here we picked up that uh, fruity pebbles from ISO 100 Give a quick taste test. We got some almond milk. Wow. That's actually really damn good. Pleasantly surprised. I, I don't know if these are actual little fruity pebble chunks in there, but they definitely have a very spot on flavor. So good on them. So we're gonna down this two scoops of protein. So an extra 50 grams of protein on the day, probably only have maybe Maybe 125, 130 so far is my guess. But once again, we're traveling this week. I'm just kind of going based on how I feel, making sure I eat enough to make sure that I'm still in a surplus on this bulk, make sure I get my protein in. But a step count of 20,000, that's gonna be hard to overcome. But we're gonna hang out. I might actually fall asleep and take a nap for a little bit. And then we're gonna go out and get some dinner, all that kind of stuff, get some grub. But um, yeah, cheers to a good first day so far. So we did end up taking a little of a nap. Uh, the the time change has me messed up, yeah, to say the least. But we got the workout in. We got plenty of steps. We are officially at 21,000 steps so far today because we just took Benny on a walk. But he got his dinner, took him for a quick walk, and now Isaac and I need to eat. We're craving some sushi, so hopefully find a really good sushi spot and actually devour it. And yeah, we'll see you guys there. No. Tired. About to smash some sushi. <laughs> Dude, I can't even talk right now. Smash. Smash, smash some sushi and go to bed. The sushi has arrived. We've got, honestly, I don't remember what we ordered. I'm that tired, but we've got some sort of spider roll. Isaac and I both got one. We've got something on the mountain, flame on the mountain, fire on the mountain, um, dynamite, two California rolls, and then another roll I don't remember what, I, what it was but yeah we're gonna dig in I'm so excited to eat I'm starving this looks delicious so yeah let's dig in we're gonna end the night with an ice cream sandwich and also I have no idea if you guys can see me I'm putting my faith in Isaac because he said this camera has like night vision or something first full day in Seattle complete August 4th 2022 capping off with a little ice cream sandwich we got Benny outside hanging out and yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow peace So good. Hi, let's go. Alright, let's take a look at our weather forecast today. Today's forecast, a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds. Just a perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast. We'll be right back. Dang, what a view. Day two in Seattle's off to a fantastic start. Walked Benny, fed Benny, protein shake, and now we have this amazing view of the skyline and a space needle over in the far right, which we're headed to next. But for now, we're gonna snag some pictures, working on a secret project, so you guys the photos for that. Stay tuned to find out what that is. But yeah, I mean, absolute beautiful morning. Uh, Isaac wished it was a little more cloudy, but I love this weather. Sun's out, nice and warm, shorts and t-shirt weather. But yeah, man, this is sweet. This is such a cool city. Have parks like this across the water. 
Yeah, this is so cool. Let's go see the Space Needle. Space Needle. All right, we've made it to the Space Needle. I'm not the biggest fan of heights, and neither is Isaac, but when we're here, we gotta do it, so. Yeah, see you guys at the top. We have to wait a little bit to go to the Space Needle. We bought tickets for the 1115, so we got about a half hour to kill, so we came across Street 2. Was it caffeinated? Something like that. But but Isaac got his Americano. I'm going with the chai tea latte because I'm not a big fan of coffee, as you guys know. And then we've got two muffins, absolutely delicious lemon poppy seed and blueberry muffin. These look so good. I will say, my grandma makes a lemon poppy seed bread that I doubt this is going to top, but we're going to give this a quick taste test. All right, I'm just going to bite it. <laughs> Wow. Considering I've only had a protein shake today, I need some nutrients, so this is like absolutely fantastic. Oh my gosh. Oh, partnership. Wait, I can tell you where you're from. Tell you where I'm from. Are you down? So good, but yeah, we have about half an hour to kill. We're gonna eat these, drink this, yeah, then head up to the top of Space Needle. Space Needle. <laughs> Dude, eat your mom and I can't. <laughs> Isaac was just trying to talk to me with a mouthful of muffin. I assume he says we're good to record. Um, <laughs> but first off, I will say, I'm not a fan of coffee, but chai tea latte might be my new thing. So I may get these when everyone else gets coffee. I'll do a quick blueberry taste test. I will say, I have been missing my uh, fruits and vegetables this trip a little bit. Just because at home, I'm always eating fruits and vegetables. So there we go, blueberries. Mm. That is so spongy. It's almost a little bit, it tastes undercooked in, to an extent. Like it feels like it could be cooked a little bit longer, but it still has that kind of crispy outside and just very soft inside. Mm. It's just a, it's a good blueberry muffin from a coffee shop. Nothing special, but now, now we're done with the food. Gonna finish these up, but our lunch is special. We're gonna do shoot, what was it called? Grill market. My aunt gave me the recommendation. Grill market, market, mac and salmon sandwiches at Pike Place Market. So we're gonna head back there after the Space Needle. So stay tuned for that. Tune for that. <laughs> That's actually me. I can't even. All right, shut That's up. enough for me, bro. This. <laughs> like, thank you. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> First meal of the day, we're at Pike, what is this? Pike Place, and this is the Market Grill. We have the blackened salmon sandwiches here. Oh, no, you're so good, you're so good. Thank you so much, no, we appreciate it. Oh, Got some fun. waters? <laughs> Very good, thank you, thank you. Oh, this looks so good. All right, so, hope you guys can get a good look at that. Got salmon in there, looks like a little bit of, um, some sort of sauce, not exactly sure, maybe tartar sauce, but grilled onion, tomato, and lettuce. Quick bite. Mm. Wow. Wow. I'm speechless. That is so good. I don't think I've ever had salmon so good. And the bread. Super thick bakery bread, I'm sure, probably from another stand out here. Thank you, Aunt Gwen, for the recommendation. This is absolutely amazing. One more, one more, then we'll Isaac eat. You have to try this. We want like savory or sweet right now. We could do cinnamon works or we could get one of those like sausage roll things. What do you think? What do you think? I'm thinking sweet. sweet. Awesome. All right, we'll do one snicker noodle and that'll do it. All right, snicker noodle cookie acquired. Let's go find some place to eat it. We just hit 8,000 steps for the day already. We have our cookie here. 
That thing's massive. <laughs> Alright, so we got our snickerdoodle cookie. That thing looks absolutely ginormous. I'm gonna take out, break off a bite. Oh, it's, it's like very crunchy, crisp outside, but it's still, still dough in the middle. These top the donuts from yesterday for sure. Did you guys do a absolutely delicious? Oh my gosh! Once again, the crisp on the outside and the super soft in the middle. It's so much butter in this thing, but mm. yeah, eight thousand steps. This is, this is earned. Well earned. As far as snickerdoodle cookies go, this is gonna get, I'm gonna give it a 9-3. This is absolutely phenomenal. All right, Isaac, you gotta try this. Oh, I will be. Isaac and I got carried away just a little bit and we actually started to have drinks beforehand, but we are at, as you can see here, Old Stone Brewing. We're having a few drinks, it's a really cool view over the bay. I don't know what it's called, but it's some sort of bay, but we were here earlier. Uh, it's got the Seattle Aquarium, all that kind of stuff. But essentially what we're doing, we're just grabbing a few drinks. I'm not a huge drinker. Um, as you guys maybe have heard on the channel, I don't really drink alcohol pretty much at all. But I decided we're here, try a cool brewery, um, grab a few beers, but I will say I don't drink at all just because it doesn't personally line up with my goals. Um, but once in a while I will have a drink, especially out of town. That's kind of when I give myself the green light. At home, I don't really drink at all when I go out, but we're having a trip, so we're gonna try some of the trees and yeah, we're gonna have some of these. We might go get some food and stuff for this and try another like little kind of rooftop bar spot, but otherwise, yeah, we're having for a drink, so cheers. Also, we just hit 40,000 subscribers on the channel, which is absolutely amazing. So we have a Q&A coming out shortly, but before that, hey, cheers to 40,000. I appreciate all the support. It's been a crazy journey so far, almost two years. Here's the 50,000. Yes, I did mean 50,000, because that's the next on the list. The OG Starbucks. Hey, there's no lot, Isaac. Just for you. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, that doesn't really look a hundred years old to me. That doesn't really look a hundred years old to me. It's like a, a glorified gift shop, pretty much. Hey, but here it is, right? All right, guys, so we were going to go to another bar called The Nest, but it was like a 45-minute wait, and I really didn't want to wait, so we decided to hop back on the light rail, come back to Roosevelt, hop in the car. We might go get some ice cream, though. There's a cold plate place that's open till I think, 11. And it's 9.30 right now, but in Cincinnati time, this is the crazy part. It's 9.30 here, but back home it's like 12.30, and I normally am in bed by like 10 at home. So this kind of thrown off my sleep schedule like crazy. But we're here, we gotta make the most of the trip. So we're gonna go ahead and yeah, maybe get some ice cream, or we'll just head back to the house. We're gonna drive by the ice cream place, see how busy it is. If it's not too busy, we'll go in and get something. If it's too busy, it's too at home, see Benny, and yeah, probably call it a night. I had never had rolled ice cream before. before. So we made the cold plate, we have essentially rolled ice cream, which I've never had before, which is kind of cool. So they have like cold stones that they kind of make, and then they spread the ice cream, they roll it up in these like little rolls. But this is the bonfire. We've got uh, marshmallow, chocolate, graham cracker, and I think chocolate ice cream. So go ahead and give it a like, taste test. Oh, it's like very thick. All right, we're going marshmallow too. Okay. Honestly, still tastes like ice cream. It's still thicker than I would say like most ice creams are, but it's actually really good. I think it's more of a novelty thing, the fact that it's rolled up, but hey, I'm not mad about it. Still good ice cream. I don't think this tops Dick's milkshake though, so we're gonna finish this off, head home. That's pretty much a wrap of day two here in Seattle. Here in Seattle. Uh, we got a sick hike tomorrow, so that'll be a separate video with Levi. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. You do, you do. Like, I, I look at your protein videos, right? Yeah. Okay, but I didn't know you're from here. Are you like, from here? No, we're from Ohio, actually. No way.
so, that's so cool. Yeah, we're cool. the app of the week. So when I drive to work, okay, I fall asleep when I drive to work. Okay. And you're, you're what I watch when I drive to work. No way. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's so cool. Right, Subscribe. Show, you gotta show. I just don't know his dog's name. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> That's Dang. absolutely not. All right, you guys, I'm absolutely baffled right now. So we were at Cold Plate getting some ice cream. Some I started filming, whatever, got the thumbnail picture, all that kind of stuff. Showed what I was eating. And one of the workers behind the counter was like, what are you guys filming for? I said, YouTube. She's like, do you do like food content? I was like, yes. And she immediately was like, okay, I think I follow you. And it pulled up her YouTube and literally was subscribed to me and just gave me ice cream, was talking about how she like follows my recipes, like high protein stuff, which is absolutely nuts. So we exchanged numbers or IGs and we might be working out with her later in the week. But it just blows my mind that I'm actually have that much reach, which is kind of nuts. I would never expect it. But yeah, I don't know. Really cool situation. So we talked to her for a little bit. She's very cool. So maybe we'll get a workout with her later. But yeah, now it's time to go home, go to bed, because I am exhausted. exhausted. <laughs>